Amari Cooper with some toe tap catches against the Minnesota Vikings in some Sunday night football. Cooper, an outstanding performance, 147 yards. However, not good enough for a Cowboys victory. Now I know my toe tap catches could probably use some help. Let's ask Cooper, the man himself, on how he became so good at it. Now both the Spurs and Lakers are 4-1 and one on the season. That one loss for both teams coming against Kawhi and the Clippers. Another postseason victory for this Astro squad. Does it ever amaze you how special this team is? No, uh, I know this is a special team. Luka joins great company and LeBron James being the only player under 21 to have a triple-double with at least 40 points. For those who said feed Zeke, well, Zeke is officially fed. For the second time this season, Ezekiel Elliott and rookie Tony Pollard had over 100 rushing yards in one game. Caleb Barker, historic day, the most touchdowns tied for team history and then the second most in Sunbelt history. What was he doing that worked tonight? We have Cruz and Frisco for Mike McCarthy's big day to give us a full breakdown on all the fun. And of course, that's where we're mm -hmm. going to start tonight at the Star. The Cowboys present Mike McCarthy as their ninth head football coach in franchise history, the eighth since Jerry Jones bought the team in 1989. There were even bats flying around the AT&T Center, but Derek White stole the show a career high 26 points. The Houston Astros went from being one of the best teams in baseball to now with the nickname Houston Asterix. How about the guy that already got paid this offseason? Cowboys star defensive end Demarcus Lawrence. Not only was your bat getting going, but you were running around the bases, especially with that hamstring. Did you feel any tightness still there? Or everything's good to go. I felt great. Was it just rest? Was it to get young guys a chance on a big stage? Or maybe oh, something about yeah, trade, yeah, deadline. trade deadline. Oh, Were you nervous about that at all? Listen to you, Miss, Miss X-Files over here. <laughs> I know it's the end of March Madness, but this was the real Cinderella story here at the Valero Texas Open. Corey Connors won his first professional tournament ever. And just to think, the start of this week, his clubs were lost. He didn't get time to practice. Randall, all your career in Green Bay, finally now a Dallas Cowboy. Does this training camp feel like you're kind of a rookie again? Yeah, definitely. Head coach Bill O'Brien always seems to be accountable. Today I can count on two hands how many times he said something along the lines of, I take full responsibility. It comes down to the head coach. Spurs down 13 going into the fourth, a 17-0 run to start the final frame, and LaMarcus Aldridge hitting the jumper here. Spurs taking the 88-87 lead. They eventually go up nine, but Toronto comes all the way back. Serge Ibaka's three here, ties it at 100, just under a minute and a half left. Then just 30 seconds left. Spurs down one now. Marco Bellinelli, who had just missed a couple of threes that would have given the Spurs breathing room, hits a huge one. Houston in good shape, but George Springer with the dagger 435 foot bomb to left and that does it Astros win game five seven to one Texans with the ball in OT easily the play of the game right here Watson escapes pressure finds Taewon Jones for the 34 yard game how in the world did Watson get out of that mess it would be huge because it led to the Texans game winning field goal final math in overtime 22 19 Texans advance to the divisional round of the playoffs next weekend. The Spurs were on the verge of a game seven comeback after a weird first half, only scoring 34 points, down 13 at the half. It all came down to the last 25 seconds of the game. The Spurs were down four points. LaMarcus Aldridge trying to defend. Greg Popovich running up and down the sideline shouting, but this arena was way too loud. LaMarcus didn't hear him. He did not end up fouling and the Spurs lost. A vet, LaMarcus, should have known. Cowboys owner and general manager Jerry Jones seemed like he had confidence in head coach Jason Garrett this past season and even a few weeks ago, but it seems like things may have changed. 24, 24 seconds twice at the AT&T Center at the start of the Raptors Spurs game this afternoon when each team held the ball for 24 seconds for number 24. Shot clock violations to start the game as the silence built in the arena but built into chants of fans shouting Kobe over and over. The death of Kobe Bryant, a shock to everyone, including the players and coaches who had to continue on with the game this afternoon. It's just a, a, a tragic thing that uh, there are no words that can describe uh, how everybody feels about it. Uh, all of us know 
what a great player he was, but he went beyond great playing. He was a competitor uh, that is that goes unmatched. Of course, the Spurs have seen Kobe Bryant many times over the years, a rivalry in the West that it's become, but everyone here in San Antonio grieving this afternoon. Man, um, any words, words can't explain it, man. Um, for myself, learning everything I've, I've learned basketball-wise from Kobe, what he meant to the game, the inspiration that he brought to the world. To the world and to DeMar DeRozan, a Los Angeles native who credits Kobe for his career. Take Kobe away, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have love. I wouldn't have the passion, the drive. Um, everything I learned um, came from Kobe. Um, everything. And DeRozan played for number 24 today, a day he and the rest of the world will never forget. For Big State Sports, I'm Adriana Torres.